All right, hi everyone. My name is Nicole Halverson, and this is my tutoring portfolio. So, some of the background information for the kid that I worked with. He was an eight-year-old boy that was in third grade at Emmanuel Lutheran Elementary in Mankato. And on the first day when I was just getting to know him, he told me that he likes to play video games, ride his dirt bike, and he also enjoys learning about science in school. Throughout the semester, he had a positive attitude and was willing to try all the different activities that I had each week, so it was pretty nice to work with him. Alright, so uh, overview of some of the reading assessments that I did for the spelling inventory. He was able to spell 14 out of the 25 words correct, and he identified 47 of the 62 feature points. He was put in the syllables and affixes stage, and although he was able to spell the individual consonants and vowels, he had difficulty with the inflected endings of words such as ed and ing, and he also had trouble with the um, unaccented final syllables of words such as ar and cellar. So for the QRI, he was given a fifth grade passage and he's in third grade so he's actually a very advanced reader for his age but um, he's just the student that I was assigned so he's able to read with 98 correct words for a min minute and he independently recalled about four out of the 52 events of the story. Throughout the comprehension questions he answered two out of four explicit questions correct and three out of four implicit questions and so um, that just shows that he was able to answer more questions that had implied answers rather than giving specific answers from the text. And so he is able to read fluently at the fifth grade level, but he also has some difficulties with comprehension, which could lead him to frustration. Um, and then throughout the motivational reading, um, or the motivational inventory, he scored in the 26th percentile for both the recreational and academic reading. So since he is more of an advanced reader for his age, he enjoys reading both in school and on his own when he's at home. So for the writing sample, this is actually one of his more difficult areas. Um, so his writing sample is actually on the right. And he presented a number of different capitalization, punctuation, and spelling errors. And so he decided to write about Clash of Clans, which is a video game, and although he was able to stay on the topic, he had trouble indicating what the main idea was throughout his writing, and there was no a clear introduction or conclusion in his writing, so it was kind of difficult to um, follow along for the reader. But, um, let's see, so my favorite lesson was actually the final lesson that we had, and we worked on a story construction, and I had asked him uh, what he wanted to work on too for one of the sessions, and this is what he said. So I uh, I just found a, let's see, just an outline for how to write a story online, and so I gave him a dice, and he rolled uh, different things for the setting, the character, and the plot, and then we discussed um, how you would construct writing a story and how the main events uh, and the problem is related to the solution. And he actually didn't understand what like a resolution or a solution was so and how that related to each other. So it was kind of fun to explain that um, and have him tell his own story through uh, his, just like different elements. <laughs> um, and so some of the different course concepts that we uh, focused on included print awareness and this uh, was a lot when we went over the All About Chocolate book, and so we discussed uh, different prediction strategies based on, or how to predict what a story will be about based on the title, and the pictures when you're going, like flipping through the story, and then we discussed different aspects of a book, such as the table of contents, and then the difference between a glossary and an index, and like what they're both for and he didn't really understand what they were before so it was um, good to just help him understand more of the different components of a book. And we also 
discussed like comprehension and different comprehension strategies such as prior knowledge and how that can help with your understanding of a book or um, if you're reading an info informational passage such as like a non-fiction um, book about the chocolate or we read something about grasshoppers too in another lesson and then we also discuss the main idea of each paragraph as we were reading and how understanding the main idea can help with your understanding of the overall message and then when we were doing the all about chocolate book we also went through the sequencing events worksheet so that helped him uh, just confirm his understanding of what the different details were about. And then throughout the lessons, we also went over spelling through word source. And based on his um, spelling inventory, I decided to work on inflected endings. So the difference between ed and ing. Um, and then, so just the overall progress, uh, we had touched on a variety of different components in the few lessons that we had, but he was able to increase his print awareness of academic test text, and he didn't understand what the index and glossary was before I had met him, which I mentioned earlier. So it was cool to help him understand that more. And then he also gained more of understanding of different comprehension strategies and how to figure out the meaning of unfamiliar words. And we discussed how you could look at the root word and then some of the surrounding sentence or the context that the word is in. And then also using a glossary to look up the definition of a word if you're still unsure about what it means. And then he also did a couple of writing activities with me. And so he was able to implement proper punctuation and capitalization in his writing with that as well. So just a conclusion overall, one thing that I really enjoyed was having the opportunity to apply what I learned through a hands-on experience because I'm definitely more of a hands-on learner as opposed to just um, reading things that are like in an article and trying to memorize the information. I enjoyed being able to apply what we were learning about. Um, so I thought that was a really cool part of the class and I really enjoyed going to the school and working with the kids. And one thing that I thought was a little difficult was just having the limited time to work with each student. I was actually assigned three students <laughs> to work with. I'm not really sure how that happened, but um, I really enjoyed each of the kids. But again, trying to give them enough time. And also, they were at different levels, or like reading levels. Each of them it was like third grade, fifth grade, and then sixth grade reading levels. And so trying to figure out different activities for each of them and how to incorporate things for their levels. Um, and then one thing that I would change, well, there's not really too much you can do about it because I know that there's a limited number of weeks in the semester, but I really wish I could have had a few more sessions with the kids to see a little bit more of the progress and what improvements they were making. But overall, I thought it was a really great experience and I enjoyed the uh, tutoring with the kids. So, thanks.